हेलो यूट्यूबर्स नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल इमेन्यूल आर्ट्स आई एम योर क्राफ्टी होस्ट प्रियंका टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अ पिक्चर क्रोशे पिलो दिस ट्यूटोरियल इज इंस्पायर्ड बाय ग्राउंड हॉग पेगीज पिक्चर क्रोशे ग्राफ कन सो आई विल हैव हर वीडियो लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो यू कैन गो चेक इट चेक हर आउट आई एम इट इज सो मच फन टू मेक एंड आई हैव मेड अ लॉट ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट्स विद दिस uh with this stitch so i hope you enjoy it too and also if you want to learn how i made my stunning t-shirt please uh, check the description below for the link on the tutorial i will have it down there so all the materials as usual will be in the description below and let's hop to our craft table and start our tutorial to begin with the tutorial the first step is to choose a picture so i have a picture of an emoji here and i have drawn it myself on on a graph paper i have used 21 squares horizontal horizontal and 21 squares vertical now i'm going to show you how to count stitches for i'm going square. to show you how to count the stitches on each square each square consists of 6 stitches and in one row it will take 3 stitches and in the second row it will take another 3 stitches so one box is equal to 6 stitches and it is going to be single crochet double crochet single crochet in the first line and then in the second line it will be double crochet single crochet double crochet this will complete a whole square Graph will consist of 60 our crocheting will consist of 63 stitches horizontally and 42 stitches vertically so we will have a rectangle pillow we will have 63 horizontally because we are considering 3 stitches per box horizontally and then we are taking two lines to complete one box that means each box will double the amount of lines so let's put this uh, chart into practice and let's get our crocheting material my background as i have colored here blue i'm going to use turqua of red heart super saver i'm using turqua and um i'm going to use susan bates 5 mm crochet hook so to begin with crocheting first make a slip knot and chain 63 as we saw earlier because we have 21 boxes and each each box is 3 3 stitches big we have to make 63 chain so 63 plus 1 so let's uh, make 63 chain 64 chain stitch this is not a beginner tutorial so i'm not um, going to show you how to do each stitch each stitch so i have 64 chain stitch here always recount your chain stitches because you don't want to go all the way doing your first row and then figure out that you have less number of chain stitch so now the next step is to single crochet in the second chain from the hook so i'll skip the first chain here and make a single crochet into the first second chain from the hook and here's the single crochet then i'll make a double crochet in the next stitch and then i will do a single crochet in the fourth in the fifth stitch in the fourth stitch i will do a single crochet so i have a single crochet a double crochet a single crochet that is half of the first box i am back uh, with i am back and i have completed the second row um so my I have completed row two, but in according to the graph, we have just completed the row one. So I'm just going to make a tick mark here to make to know that I have already completed row one. Now, as per my graph, I have one, two, three rows of blue uh, without any color change. So I'm going to go ahead and do two more rows, which is actually four crochet rows, and come back when I am uh, when I'm going to do the color change. So I will show you how to do the color change now when I come back. I forgot to mention one thing 
the third row will again be the repeat of the first row and then the fourth row will be the repeat of the second row so all the odd numbers will be the repeat of row 1 and all the even number rows will be the repeat of row 2 so right now i am doing uh, row 3 which will be single crochet double crochet single crochet and the row 4 will be double crochet single crochet double crochet so go ahead and i'm going to go ahead and finish my two rows two rows of graph and come back uh, with the next step so here i have completed all six rows of crocheting that is on our graph i have completed the three rows from the bottom so i have completed row one two and three from the bottom now i'm on the fourth row here so for the fourth row as you can see we are beginning to we will be beginning to crochet our emoji here and we have a change of color from blue to yellow so let's count how many squares are on this side before we have to put in the yellow so it's one two three four five six seven eight so eight times three is 24 so let's make 24 stitches with the blue or the turquoise color that i'm using and then i will show you how to add the new color so again beginning the seventh row uh, of crochet and the fourth row of the graph i'm going to flip over my work and do single crochet as it is a odd number row we are going to copy the first row one so it's single crochet double crochet and single crochet so i'm going to make 24 stitches with um the turquoise color so i've already made three so i have 21 more to go so i'm going to do that so we have the this is my 23rd stitch here and now i'm going to make the 24th stitch that is the single crochet so just do half single crochet do not complete it and take your next yarn my uh, the i'm taking yellow because as per the chart it is going to be yellow pick up the yellow yarn leave a long tail about four or five inches and then grab the yellow yarn and complete the single crochet so it will be like this so the last stitch of the previous color you will do half of it and then complete it with the next color now carry along the yellow color tail and the uh, aqua color and do 15 uh, of the yellow color that is um, we'll go back to our graph and see how it came to 15 stitches because the yellow color are five boxes one two three four five so five times three is 15 so we will be making 15 of the yellow stitches make sure that you carry along the uh, turquoise and the yellow color tail uh, along while you're stitching the yellow stitches So place it on top of the stitch then the next stitch will be a single crochet so grab both the yarn that is the tail of the yellow color and turquoise in between the single crochet stitch and complete the stitch continue doing that for 15 stitches so 14 more now so i'm doing a double crochet then i will do a single crochet and i'm going to do 12 more stitches and come back with the next step so i've completed the 24 stitches with the turquoise now we have to carry forward the yellow yarn so all we need to do is loop it over the turquoise and then chain one with turquoise 
now turn your work around and we'll go back to our graph so we completed one half of the fourth row on the graph and now we're going to do the second part of the fourth row on the graph that is the double crochet single crochet double crochet and let's see we will make 24 stitches with double crochet single crochet double crochet of turquoise and we will be carrying along the yellow with us as we have to be we will be using it in the center so make 24 turquoise turquoise stitches starting with double crochet single crochet double crochet and I will be back once I am done with all the 24 stitches. So here I am back. I have completed 23 stitches with my turquoise color and now I am going to make the 24th stitch. So like in the previous row we are just going to make half of the double crochet stitch. So just till um, we will just do say yarn over insert the hook through the stitch pull up a loop then yarn over and pull through two loops and we will stop there with the turquoise and then we will pick up our yellow yarn so here we picked up our yellow yarn and we will uh, keep our tension even by pulling the um, turquoise yarn snug and then yarn over and pull through the last two loops to complete the double crochet of the turquoise now we will make 15 stitches with yellow um, of double crochet single crochet double crochet so and we will carry along our turquoise yarn with it so i'm going to do the 15 stitches and come back with the next step so here i have completed 13 stitches and i'm going to show you one more time how to change back the color so yarn over and insert to the stitch pull up a loop with the yellow yarn then yarn over pull through two loops and stop with the yellow drop the yellow pick up the turquoise yarn with your two fingers pull the yellow yarn snug so the tension remains even yarn over and pull through two loops with the turquoise and this completes our last yellow stitch for the row and now we will continue doing uh, continue stitching with turquoise for the twin for the last 24 stitches that are remaining so I'm com once I'm done with this I'll come back with the next step so I'm here I've completed the 24 stitches with the turquoise color and on the graph we have completed our fourth row what uh, the method I showed you how to change color what it does is it gives you a straight edge of the yellow and the turquoise it uh, because if you complete the last stitch and then start the new next stitch with the new color then the first line and a little uh, the second line will have a one stitch shift because we turn the work back uh, back and forth so always uh, complete the last stitch uh, halfway and then pick up the new color and com complete the last stitch so i'm going to go ahead and complete a cup uh, complete a few lines and then i will um, come back uh, with the next step here is the completed front panel for the pillow and as per the design i have the smiley looks like this so this is the design of my smiley and then it came up like this on the piece on the back side I did a plain panel uh, the same size as the front one that is 63 by 42 and you can make the same smiley again on the back side or you can do something else but I just wanted to keep it plain so I just took the background color and made the panel for it now I've already sewn three sides and I'm going to show you how I sewed um, I sewed the sides and all you do is take a tapestry needle and thread uh, thread the yarn that uh, you I used for the background then just insert the uh, needle through the th 
through one of the stitches and bring it out from the other side it's just simple you just pass it back and forth on both the sides and make sure that you uh, even out all the stitches from front and back panel and I'm going to sew half of the panel uh, half of the fourth side and leave, leave a little bit of space to fill in the stuffing so I'll come back when I'm done half of the stitching and then uh, I will show you how I stuff it and how much I stuff it and then the closure so just um, complete the stitching of all the three all three and a half sides and I'll be back with the last uh, part of this tutorial so I've gone ahead and sewn almost three fourth of my fourth side and like I mentioned previously I have sewn the other three sides now I left this much space open to fill in my fiber fill so I'm just going to take um, my fiber fill and generously uh, fill stuff it in just going to take some and just spread them out to make sure there are no knots in it and then start stuffing it so I'm going to make sure that every corner of the pillow has um, stuffing and also remember that make sure that the the opening is enough for your all of your hand to go inside so you can push the stuffing in all directions if by any chance you uh, sew it too much and your hand could not go in take a rolling pin or something that is um, like a rod and then you can stuff it in in all the corners of the pillow with the help of it so I'm going to add some stuffing and then come back with the final product I've gone ahead and done the stuffing and you can make it as hard or as soft you like your pillow so I have kept it really um, soft and that's how I like my pillows and just taking the edge here and in the similar way that we I showed you earlier on how to stitch the sides the two panels together I'm just going to end I'm going to go back and forth and stitch the end of the pillow So I've come to, my, to the end of the pillow and I'm going to go through the final stitch. Then I'm going to insert my needle through the stitches. Let it go inside and then bring it out from the bottom so it gets caught in the stuffing inside and then it won't come off and you can just adjust the stuffing inside to make sure that this uh, last corner is also filled with stuffing and it doesn't seem floppy so just press around the stuffing and push the stuffing towards the corner and also you can pass the needle through the stuffing a couple of times just to secure it more better so I'm going to come through from middle of one of the stitches and then go through the next stitch and again come out from the bottom and that's it and then I'm going to cut off the yarn and make sure that you don't take too big of a stitch on top just like from one stitch to the next one so that it cannot be seen and then cut off the excess yarn and that's about it our pillow is done hey everyone so we have completed our tutorial and the pillow it looks like this from the front and the back 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, please do give me a thumbs up. Also, I want to tell you that I have been doing this stitch for a very long time, say about four years now, and I have made a couple of other projects. I will have the pictures of both the projects after this video, and I will have the link uh, to both the blogs on in the description below. Please do check them out. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up, share with your friends and family. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more fun and crafty DIY tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.